What it do, what it do, la la gang. I hope everybody out there is doing good, doing great, blessed, and staying productive. Happy Wednesday, okay? Happy hump day. Happy, yeah, that way. Happy, yeah, you already know. Uh, anyways, y'all, you see I got me a little cup of tea this morning, and I'm coming very early this morning, okay? Because um, y'all seen what I put out. Um, a lot of y'all couldn't see it, but the person who actually made that comment was in my comments okay so anyway the information was sent to me y'all so take a chill pill go get you a cup of coffee um just relax okay you see i'm not i'm just dressed quick to let me run them to school and yeah yeah i'm not dressed for the whole day yet so i said why not jump on here while i'm just sipping my tea okay because as y'all can see i put a reaction out yesterday Oh, and if you want to know what tea I'm drinking, I mix uh, peppermint, and this is, have y'all seen this tea before? It's organic. It's organic, and this is the name of it. I'm trying to turn it so I could see. Woo! Let's see. I can't even get it. But that's it right there, if y'all can see. Immune. So it's I-M-U-N, okay? Um, and I just drank it. It's warm. Yeah, morning. Because y'all know, um, a few days ago, like I told y'all, I was trying to feel bad. But I feel fine. All right. So. Let's see. Where are we? Screenshots. There we go. Um, so this is someone that was actually in contact with somebody, Chris family, or someone that they know from Chris family. Okay. Um, the bad part of it is, is yesterday I got on here and I did a reaction. Yeah, I did a reaction. I did a reaction to say, okay, Chris got on here and he addressed everything. He addressed and he said that, hey, that is not me. I wouldn't do nothing like that. I don't even like people that does stuff like that. And basically trying to dress it and clear his name but at the end of the day he did say if it wasn't for jj you know he don't care he don't care well i tell you what if somebody out here and they have something on me like that that's very strong i would care i would care enough to clear my name i would care enough to say hey i don't know who be in the youtube streets but just like this person that was that that said that she spoke with a family member and this and that and didn't know that they was related to Chris. Anybody can be watching at any time. So I wouldn't want this type of information being out about me, okay? So I would care, okay? It's certain things that you don't care about, but it's certain things that you do care about. So that means I would come on and address it, okay? So after reading y'all comments as well, even though I wasn't at ease with it, I just said, I let it go. I leave it alone. But they stories is not adding up. It's not making sense. It's not making sense as why they want you to tuck them in the bed. It's not making sense where you are bathing the kids or you bathe, you you gave aid in the bath. And it's, it's, none of it makes sense to me, okay? Because I guess I believe in boundaries, okay? Then y'all come back and, and y'all telling me, you know, well, I don't believe him. Why is Amaya going with her grandmother? Hmm. So is Amaya going by herself or is it Amaya and Kaylin? But then you were asked, well, how is she going and they're in school? That's what you asked. And then the thing of it is, it'd be while all of a sudden, while all of a sudden is she just going? Why all of a sudden? Because there's a lot of re reasons behind that. JJ know. They know. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. But then when you have a person that, that comes in and saying that when they talk to one of his fam family members, they say, hey, I wouldn't allow my kids around him. That says a lot. It says a lot to everything that we have said about him. It's mainly true. We call him a bum. We called him a bum from the get-go. Guess what? They said his family knows that he's a bum. 
They really don't fool with him too much. You know how you have that one is just not right, can't get right, never want to be right. So you just have to, yeah, yeah. Also, the next thing that was brought up, talked about food stamps. He normally would be the person that, that people go to if they want to sell their stamps. He has the hookup on that, okay? Then when I thought about that, I said, damn, wait the fuck a minute. 12 6. 12 6 is the day that she was on the floor and sitting and saying that she lost her stamps and what she didn't have. And she felt like and said that it was due to somebody not liking the fact that she's in a relationship or thinking that Hefty was staying with her at the time, putting blame on to someone else, okay? Putting blame on, I opened my door, I let this bum come in, okay? I know absolutely nothing about him, and, I, and I'm going to say that. She knows nothing about him, nothing about his background, nothing, okay? And remember before, if you even read in there, it says that they believe that he got in trouble in Cali. Now, if y'all go way back to my videos when his baby mama came out before, and was saying how he was in trouble and how he ran and he was going to San Antonio. Y'all remember that? Okay. But the thing of it is, is how can you be using different family members' names, okay? It's crazy. Now this also goes back to JJ and her mama. JJ and her mama, when her mom got on, got on here... And was saying how somebody stole her identity or was taken from her or did whatever they did. Okay, I didn't listen to their whole story. But it all falls back upon them. Okay, look who you let come in. Look who you let come in and, and, and push you to sell your stamps. I'm not going to say push you because you, you have a mouth. But you allow him to do that. Then you allow him to put you up here and you say you don't discuss all things with him. What do you mean? Because then they will go back to this live that he just put out. The same thing that he said about your daughter is that y'all they, they have great talks and great understandings. He said the same thing with you. Y'all have very great talks. But the thing, if y'all had very great talks, that would be a situation that y'all would talk about. And as him being the man that he's supposed to be, he would say, hey, don't jump on YouTube. Don't do that. Okay, we'll figure it out. That is what he would say. Sometimes trying to figure a person out or know who a person is, you don't need. You don't need a lot. You just need just a little bit. Because you already got a whole sum, some. A sum of everything, okay? Everything that's going on, who he is, da da da. But the bad part is, you let him come in and you let him take from your kids, sell all your stamps, and leave you here dry begging. And so then the question goes where does the money go? Where do it go? As that, as that person said in my comments, nobody's driving fancy cars, real nice clothes. Only thing we see Hefty wear is gym shorts and a t-shirt. Nothing out of the way. As I not read another comment, somebody said, what's done in the dark comes to the light. It does. It does. And sometimes when it do come to the light, it just don't come to the light where you could just see it and read it and hear it and put it all together. Sometimes it's like a puzzle, piece by piece by piece, you know? And I, and I know that y'all heard me before when I talk about that hundred, hundred piece puzzle. You can get all the pieces, but it's just like two or three that just don't fit right. Maybe four don't fit right. But it's like I got everything, but something is missing. We all knew about 12-6 and know she made that shit up. We know that. We know why she didn't have no food and didn't have stamps. We knew why. And we knew why she didn't want to ask Hefty or didn't want to say anything. And then the reason of, if he is staying with you, why he could not help you. I'm just saying. A lot of us already knew why the situation with Mama Dukes. And why now Mama Dukes is very standoffish with him that she really don't like him well 
It just came out. The reason why. Her and Hefty stealing from her own mama. Hmm. I wouldn't like it neither. So then that also says, again, Mama Dukes knows a lot. She knows a lot. She knows a lot to say, you know what? At the end of the day, I know my baby girl ain't talking, but let me get her this journal. Let me get her this journal, and I know she is just six, and she's not even able to write full sentences all together just yet. But one day it all come. But my thing is, how is it that we want to pray for somebody in their situation when you're dealing with a whole shit show over there? A whole circus, a whole shit show. And all I'm going to say, the people that you choose to hang around and be around, it says a lot about you, okay? You choose to entwine with Olivia. Olivia is yeah. You have no words for her. But that says a lot about you. The same. And it's crazy how she come in and she want to defend Hefty. But you don't know shit about him. JJ don't even know nothing about him. So how dare could you get on here and try to even defend him? <laughs> you don't know nothing. It was just your first time really meeting and greeting him. Now you want to defend him. Hmm. I'm just saying. You can't even defend your kids, okay? But you want to defend a grown man. He could defend himself. Anyways, let me read. Uh, it's two of them. And the first one where I said selling stamps. A lot of y'all <laughs> couldn't read it, okay? I could read it. Y'all couldn't read it. It says, and then another thing. You wonder why Hefty never got on here and addressed the baby and, you know, on his own and talked about her being pregnant and just being excited about it because he wasn't excited. A person that is excited, he going to let all of his family members know. Unless you are the side, okay? And that's why he's in and out. Then also reading, this person was really unsure. The lady that came to your house after you have gave birth with him Unsure if that was really his sister. She ain't really sure. So you really don't know who he is bringing around you and really don't know who is family and who is not. Because see, he has a large family. And the only person that you could speak up on and speak about was his sister. The same one that's supposed to have gave you a baby shower, right? The one that you supposed to been cool with. I'm just saying. He call y'all family and say he love your kids as if they was his. Well, if the sister is around, why she couldn't come in and babysit this and that? You had to go to your ex-bestie because you wasn't sure if Mama Dukes was going to help you out because y'all crossed her over. I'm just saying. <sighs> tea. <laughs> um, oh, y'all in that peppermint tea. Ooh, I'm just saying. If y'all like peppermints, it's yeah. She did not know... Legend, neither did her siblings. Now, this is family. How is you not going to know about my new baby? How is you not going to know about Legendary King? How is the family not going to know about... Y'all help me out. Help me out of how your loved ones, your family is not going to know about your new baby. But YouTube, dude, I'm just saying... Something is wrong with this picture here. Something is wrong is why he bought the baby absolutely nothing. He could care less. I'm just saying. JJ, you can't come always run to his rescue. You just can't. Then said, Chris, Chris keeps up with a few male cousins, and they may know, but it's new to them. I'm just saying. If you've been dating somebody for a whole year... It shouldn't be new to nobody. I'm just saying. Also, if you have a brand new, I'm talking about brand new baby, it shouldn't be new to nobody. Okay? They should know. Chris is a good hookup.
for selling stamps among a few people in his family. He drives to, what is that? Elian or Ian in the near. What is, uh, let me, uh, hold on, y'all. I can't even read this myself. E-L-G-I-N. Where is that? I never heard of that before. No one has any idea about jazz. Did y'all hear that? Nobody have no clue or idea about jazz. They don't know who the hell jazz is. Why is that, JJ? But y'all plan on getting married. Nobody knows nothing about you. Why? Now it seems like I'm reading or seeing something off Lifetime. You date a whole person. They don't know you. Okay. You don't know them, really. You know, you don't know nothing about them. You don't know family. The family knows nothing of you or the baby that y'all have together. So it seems like whenever he's prepared to pack up and leave, you'll just be irrelevant. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I need to check if the girl that came to her house, you let Hefty bring a girl to your house? Ooh. I'm just saying. To her house after the birth was really his sis. She has a lot on her plate and doesn't have time for foolishness. She wouldn't comment on the allegations, but wouldn't. Listen to this. She wouldn't comment on the allegations, but wouldn't have ha wouldn't have him around her kids. Why is that? Why would she would not have this grown man that loves kids, okay? And would never do anything to no kid because that is not who he is. He do he do not like people that does that. Why you wouldn't allow him? I'm just saying. Why not? <clears throat> she and my older sis are both in an organization for professional women. Some clever name can, can at least, oh, she said at some clever name can at least verify I had an idea about his family going back to October of 2020. Now, this person that was even on this thread was unsure how everything worked and how everything go and didn't know if she was saying everything right about dropping tea. But I don't even have to go in the little other one because this one right here was enough for me. It explains it a lot. It explains where she don't have enough, where she's not able to have enough food. And you get stamps, but you say that you don't, but we know that you do. It explains why she always drop big all the time. It explains and give confirmation on everything that everybody has said. Even on some of the things that I have said. Even on some of the things my subs and other reactors have said. Sometimes when people get on here and they clear up and they say certain things and they address certain things, it doesn't mean that it's the truth. It just means that, hey, I'm trying to, you know, clear shit up. I don't want to, you know, get caught up. And again, did y'all catch we are tired of CPS coming out. Well, damn, Hefty. How many times have they been out since you've been in the picture? Or did they come out again? I'm just saying. Or is the thing of it why you want to come on here and address? Because you know, you know that they're watching. And see, Chris, Christy let a lot out the bag when she said what she said. Because there's boundaries that need to be set in place to where nobody should be bathing your kids. Nobody. 
See, Philip will be home real soon. Okay? And I yeah, I got that same memo. He got approved. And he will be home in May. How do you think he will feel about you bathing? Either his girls or his son. How do you think he will feel? I'm just saying. It's the games that y'all playing for me. And the games is not cool. Every time some shit go wrong in JJ house and shit is not going right. Yet again, she get on here and she blame everybody else except for herself. She blame all the reactors. She blame her subs. She blames the reactor subs. Everybody except for herself. Nobody told you to allow Bum to come in. Nobody told you to allow somebody to come in knowing, hey, you got kids and oh, you getting food stamps. Let me sell them for you. For his benefit, to left you and your kids without, and then you felt like it's okay for you to sit on the floor and say what somebody did or who called on you and got your shit taken away because you have somebody stand with you or somebody is jealous because you are with hips. Now, this is the type of BS, y'all, I be talking about. And as I said before, I be trying to move away. And say, okay, not today. But when I wake up, sometimes I'm hit with some shit that what do I do? I just let it flow and go. I'm just saying. And y'all do whatever you want with it. So why y'all sit up here and act like JJ is some little angel? And Lala, why are you always picking on her? Or why are you bullying? Why are you... Take that shit and run that. Run all of it and check it and make it make sense. I'm just saying. I don't care about who she with. I don't. Okay? I don't care about who she want to house. I don't. But when you get on here and you point fingers at everybody else and still point it at your fucking self, then yeah, I have to speak up. Okay? And somebody said, for the kids. Yeah, we have to worry about our own kids. We can't, you know. But hey, it doesn't stop you from talking. I'm just saying. Rebrand and revamp that. Where are your money going? Where are your stamps going? We seen you show the dog food bag. Cool. But where is the dog? Hefty can say whatever he want. But somebody gonna really get on here and say some real live shit. And it's coming. Just wait for it. So the next time she get on here and dry big about what she don't have, y'all asked her, what happened to it? I'm just saying. Hefty coming in and yeah, he's destroying, but he act like this happy man with you, but his family don't even know about you or your baby. That's crazy for me. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's all for this reaction video. It is what it is. And it's, like I said, it explains 12-6. Hmm. It wasn't a subscriber or a reactor. I'm just saying. It was just your man. Anyways, y'all, if y'all like this video, y'all already know what to do. Throw those thumbs up. And if y'all have not, I do ask that you do do. Okay? Do, 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 do. Do subscribe, cuz. It's Lala. Peace.